Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video to give you a very quick overview of the alpha version of our traffic system. So you're basically, to enable it, you're going to go to settings, and you're going to go to advanced, and then you're going to want to make sure that you use Nextcast built-in traffic scheduler here, okay? The next thing you need to do is in all of your rotations, where you want Nextcast to schedule traffic, you will need to right click, I'll do it here so you can see, insert playlist macro, um, it's going to be merge external traffic, you're going to set the duration of the break, and it's very important that you select the category where your traffic is, so in this case mine is there, and then you would insert, so you see that I have this one here, a four minute break, um, and it's using add 60 category, and same here, four minute break, it's using the add 60 category. So in your category, this is my category, you would add your commercials. And then <clears throat> once you're done, you can double click and the traffic edit window will come up. And I can actually hit next and previous for all in the list, but this one's kind of filled up messy. Let me do another one properly. So I'm gonna double click. I am now editing that commercial. Uh, we'll call it outdoor. Um, priority is implemented, but I wouldn't suggest using a position is not implemented. We'll put customer name. And then you can put customer number. Uh, reconcile payment. That's once it's been paid, we can put that there. And then we can put a sales order number if you're using an accounting system. Competitive codes would be home improve. You can type in anything in here and you can hit enter. And what that will do is it will block other commercials in the same set from playing if they're the same competitive codes. And so if I wanted to schedule this to play one time um, between six and 8 a.m., I would do that. If I click it again, it will add two. So I can tell it to play twice. Okay, and then I can select the date range of the commercial. So I can say I want it to start the 26th through March 31st, and then I can hit save, and that's it. So now, when I, again, when I double click on that commercial, my data is stored there. And so now when I generate that hour or those that day, the days within that range, it will automatically place the commercials in there. Uh, one last thing, if I double click on one of these that I've been testing, I can go to, um, oh yeah, one other thing. So it'll show scheduled, that's, I mean booked, that is how many you want it to play. Scheduled is how many it's actually scheduled for that week. And then played would be the played history for everything. And so, you know, once the system plays out, there'll be a long list here. You could select them all, apply a payment, and then write the check number or transaction number for the payment. And then it will store it there that the commercials have been paid. Okay, that's the quick and simple instructions.